News of worsening tensions between Canada and China is not enough to stop a group of parliamentarians from heading to Shanghai on Saturday. At the end of the day, if there was a, a risk, uh, we wouldn't be going. Conservative MP Michael Cooper is one of six legislators going on a bipartisan multi-city mission to promote business ties and improve relations between countries. The head of our uh, delegation did uh, speak with officials from Global Affairs Canada and uh, the message that they sent was that it would be better that we go than not go. In fact, it might be a further escalation to, to cancel. Canada has already postponed one high-level trip to China. Tourism Minister Melanie Jolie paused plans for a December visit because of the diplomatic dispute. It all began when China arrested former diplomat Michael Kovrig and entrepreneur Michael Spavor and accused the Canadian men of endangering Chinese national security. Their detention is widely seen as retaliation for Canada's arrest of Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou. In China's strongest statement yet, the country's top prosecutor insisted there is no doubt the two Canadians violated Chinese laws and regulations. Canada rejects the claims and is demanding Kovrig and Spaver be released. The upcoming parliamentary visit will be a fresh opportunity for Canadians to make that case in person. It's important that there be as many lines of contact with China now as possible. It's not a time to cut things off. More communication is what a powerful American lawmaker is calling for as well. Democratic Senator Mark Warner, a prominent China critic, says the Trump administration needs to step up on behalf of Ottawa. I think we need to do more to uh, bring our pressure as well as other of our allies' pressure to bear on trying to get these uh, Canadian citizens released. Global Affairs confirms 13 Canadians have been arrested by Chinese authorities since this dispute began. The number may seem high, but senior sources say that's about average for a month in China. But the arrests of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spaver are unusual, given the serious allegations made against them. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.